on the Atta Lancaster County Trail dedicated to a local war hero. Now, this is the same place that was vandalized. There's a verse in the Bible that says that the tongue is the strongest weapon that's ever been created. It can slice a person down and literally kill them in a sentence. As I've aged, I have seen how people have been sliced down, you know, have been um, put down, and especially kids. Um, as long as you're living and breathing, there's always a chance for change. There's always a chance to do better. Because it's a terrible thing to just waste your life and live in that darkness. How much money it'll take to get this trail back to normal. Working for you. So there's a there's a belief that um, when crime is committed, when harm is caused, that there's really an offender-focused process or it's about rehabilitating somebody who's caused harm. And the criminal justice system has a purpose and it's a necessary sort of thing. But having a face-to-face -face conversation with the person who victimized them or who caused them harm is usually not part of of any of that, unless it's through a program like this. Restorative practices, restorative justice, is about meeting those individual needs for victims. Good morning, welcome to Ephrata, the brand new veterans. Ephrata is a great small town. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live. It's got a library, a hospital, um, good government, and it's just a, a great place to raise a family. We own a 100,000 square foot warehouse that sits between King and Queen Streets in Ephrata Borough. And so there's probably only 20, 30 yards between the back of the building and the rail trail. We had had the building with about 15 years and little by little we've made improvements to it. We were just happy that the trail was going in and it was going to be a big improvement to the borough itself. So we were willing to do whatever was necessary to help them accomplish that. It appears the borough did what it could to try to clean this up. These darker marks on the pavement are all that's left, but there's still a lot of work to do to get uh, it One of up. the um, facilities we have at Effort of Borough is at Rails to Trails. It's a Dick Winter Memorial Trail. And it was constructed, I think, five, six years ago. Uh, it's about two miles long and was set with expectations that it was going to be a uh, family-friendly environment to be open to the public. The vandalism uh, appeared over the weekend. Uh, one Saturday or Sunday afternoon, I got a call that there was graffiti on the trail and that we needed to um, minimize the effect of it. Uh, it was vulgar, uh, so we wanted to make sure that we were covering it up. It contains defamatory and inflammatory phrases like Ephrata will burn and F. It was very sexually graphic um, with pictures and and the sayings were very, very offensive. We actually had to pressure wash things off, uh, remove signs, notify homeowners there was some graffiti on private property that, that the borough doesn't take care of, which becomes a whole other issue. Um, all the the uh, time still trying to do our other work. Uh, but the graffiti could not wait, it was priority one. This wasn't the first time that the back of our building was vandalized with graffiti, but it was by far the worst that had ever been put on the building. We were hoping with the trail, with it opened up and done nicely, that there'd be more eyes on that area. So it's always hurtful um, when somebody takes it upon themselves to really victimize your building and something that we've worked really hard to try to bring up to be an asset to the borough. Um, but here we go again, someone is making it look really crummy again. But closely on the heels of that thought was, oh my gosh, what are the little kids, you know, what's this gonna do to them? Many students come down a back stairway and they use the trail to walk home. 
um, and there's families on the trail all the time. No child should be exposed to what was on the back of the building this time. Police say they've identified two 12-year-old girls and a 13-year-old girl as the vandals. They will likely be charged with criminal mischief. If we find the graffiti, we'll call the police to make a police report because we don't know if it's gang activity or something more serious. Fortunately, the police department did the investigation and was uh, surprised to find that it was young ladies um, that did it. And it was probably shortly after that that we heard from Advos about taking part in the reconciliation process. I think there's a human uh, desire to be positive, to see the positive things happen, and it's to bring together people to try to make things right that went wrong. You know, something happened that was wrong, something happened that, that broke down community, that, that affects the whole community. And we're trying to see how we can heal that, how we can bring, make things right. I, I, I like that little phrase, to make things right. And that can mean a lot of things. Uh, it can mean restitution, but you come and you actually just meet each other and you see each other as people. That all figures into it. We wanted to um, get the borough made whole. However, I was just the face of the borough. I wasn't the one directly uh, affected. The people that were affected was the community and the actual citizens. I was very happy to engage in in the reconciliation piece of it because I think it's important for the perpetrators to hear how it does affect the people that that they victimized. The youngster can see well it wasn't just a lot of fun. No, there's a lot of consequences you didn't think of at the time. And on the other side, um, you know, the kid that made this, that did this terrible thing, that's not the only part of that kid that, that, that represents this child or this youngster. There are other pieces to this youngster. And so that can come out in this kind of thing. My biggest concern was her well-being because it just like shocked me that somebody that age would be uh, involved in this kind of behavior and actually know the information that she knew that was translated into the graffiti. Everybody comes to the table for a reason. They have an interest, they have a question that they want to ask, they have a story they want to tell, um, they have something they want to walk away with. And so if you put a face to the experience, you're not just the person who harmed me, and that forces me to to connect to you in a different sort of way. And that's why we think this process is so important because it's harder to hurt somebody who you feel connected to. I think for me, the willingness to engage with us, not only listen, but answer us, uh, I think that caused everybody to shift toward kind of rallying behind her in any way you can to help her succeed. It, it works, I guess, you know. People get together and talk and by the time they're finished, they shake hands and I've just been blessed and uh, inspired by the fact that this process does have good results.